Hello, welcome to Gigi's Altered Objects. Today I'm going to do a tutorial which involves chalk paint. It's Deco Art Chalk Acrylic. This one is Legacy Blue and Everlasting White. Also, a refinishing tool and a wax candle. Those are odd ingredients, aren't they? Um, this project is not my own idea. I first learned it at a Clear Scraps class I took in the Scrapbook Convention in Irving, Texas in February of 2019. And uh, this was taught to me by the owner, Susan Fraz. I hope I'm not murdering her last name. The original project that I did in her class is this, the boat picture frames. And it's two-sided. You can actually get this kit at her website. I've added a few extra embellishments, embellishments to mine. But you can get this um, kit without the chalk paint, of course, from clearscraps.com. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to coat. I'm going to choose to use this little box. I'm going to coat our box with the darker color of your choice. I'm going to use blue today. So I'll do that. And there we are. Step one is all finished. And this paint is wonderful. It has great coverage, so you don't even need to worry about priming with gesso. I'm going to leave it to dry for just a minute. And while I do that, I want to show you another project that I did with this same technique and using my favorite graphic 45 this is one of the seaside collections if you're not familiar with it there's the inferior cards the 8 by 8 paper chipboard tags 12 by 12 and 12 by 12 stickers and then the pattern paper as well and I'm going to do some fussy cutting with this to put the details on the box when we're done all right I'm not going to do the technique to the inside so I think the outside is dry enough for step two let's see yep all right, this is where you're going to use the candle. The wax from the candle is going to create a resistance, and that's what's going to help us get a finish that looks weathered. So you just take your candle, as long as it's a wax candle, and rub all over the surface that you want to distress. Okay, I'll finish this and be right back. Step two is all finished. I rub the whole box with the wax candle. You want to make sure that you get around the edges especially well because that is a natural type of distressing or distressed look. You also want to make sure that you rub all, brush all of the extras off. All right. Then you're going to cover it with the white. Again, this is, I'm using Deco Art and this is called Everlasting. So I'm going to put an even coat. Um, sometimes it does take two coats of this to cover because the, one, the color underneath, you're always going to have a darker color underneath. So sometimes you may have to put two coats of the white chalk to get a good effect. So I'll start this, and I'll know if it needs another coat when it dries a little. Right now it looks pretty good, but we'll see. Okay, I'll finish this coat and be back in a moment. So I'm going to continue with the refinishing tool. Paying attention especially to the edges. It 
gives it this great rustic look. And it's almost ready for some embellishments. I'm going to do some fussy cutting from the Graphic 45 collection that I showed you. I'll be using the Sun Kissed papers and I think I'm going to do some flowers and a couple of the turtles and maybe the ship to decoupage along with a few other embellishments. So I'm going to finish that and I'll come back and show you what the finished product looks like. Here is the finished product. I did some fussy cutting from the Graphic 45 Seaside and used some pop dots here, some paper flowers from my stash, a couple beads from my stash, and the top. In future posts, I'll show you, this one is just blank inside. But sometimes it's fun to tell a little story inside the box when you open it up. And uh, the next one I will do that and show you. Okay, so please comment, like, or follow. And I'll see you next time on Gigi's Altered Objects.